The extra hardware we'll need is some six and a half inch screws or equivalent and some framing nails that are about 3.7 millimeters by about 100 millimeters. Those will be the axles. Now we're going to put them in a drill and run it past a hacksaw to take the head off. Just knocking it off there. Now we're going to want to put some grooves in both ends of all of the nails so that when you heat sink it into the tire, the plastic will have something to grip onto. Just smoothing it off with some sandpaper to make sure it's nice and clean. Flipping it around. Just going to do some more grooves on the other side. You want to make sure your tread on the tires is facing the proper direction because there is a left and a right side. So you want to make sure you have the treads pointing right. Now you want to heat up the nail and heat sink it into the tire. But you have to be very careful with not overheating it because if it gets too hot, it will liquefy the plastic and it won't go in properly. And the same with the other side. If it gets too hot, it'll melt the tire and the frame. Now we're working on the second, the back axle. Cutting it off, putting the grooves into the nail again. Just taking the tip off so that when I heat sink it in, I don't accidentally push it all the way through. Because you want to make sure your temperature is just right. So you push it in without pushing it through or melting it sideways. There we go. Looks good. Some nice grooves there. Just going to heat that up and do the same thing. Sticking it on the tire. Sliding it through the frame heating it up and just yeah be careful that the heat doesn't travel down the thing and get to the frame now I'm just going to mount the body of the vehicle putting the screws in place and there we have it now for the people model just stick the person in and it's all done unless you want to paint it of course thanks for watching